नमस्कार फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द फोर्थ वीडियो ऑफ द स्टैंडर्ड इलेवेंथ सेकंड चैप्टर दैट इज बायोलॉजिकल क्लासिफिकेशन इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन अबाउट द फंडामेंटल्स ऑफ बायोलॉजिकल क्लासिफिकेशन मोनेरा किंगडम प्रोटिस्टा किंगडम एंड नाउ वी आर मूविंग टू द फंजाई किंगडम सो किंगडम फंजाई विल बी स्टडीड इन दिस वीडियो सो वेलकम Welcome to Vigyan with Vishal Mulya. Welcome to Biology with Vishal Mulya. Welcome. The fungi constitute a unique kingdom of heterotrophic organisms. These heterotrophic organisms are showing great diversity in their morphology as well as in their habitats. When you see the bread which is having mold or um, orange is rotting, it is because of fungi. when we see this uh, rotting um, mold or bread mold in detail we can see the fungus and when we see at the microscopic level we can see very well it is rhizopus where you can see the mycelium as well as um, spores uh, forming part uh, also so um, bread mold is happening because of the fungi or you can say bread mold is a kind of fungi even the rotting of oranges because of fungi we can see present here the common mushrooms which we eat is toadstool or a mushroom that is also a kind of fungi when the spot is seen on the mustard leaves that is because of parasitic fungi and here you can see that spot and even the more spots can be seen very well on the mustard leaves which is happening because of fungi some of the unicellular fungi like yeast is very much useful in making of bread as well as uh, liquors like beer some fungi is there which is causing diseases either it is there in plant or whether it is in the animals best can be exemplified with the plant disease causing or wheat disease causing paxinia it is causing wheat rust and that is one of the very important parasitic fungi many fungi are source of antibiotic best can be exemplified as penicillin which is yielding uh, yielding by which is yielded by penicillium so penicillin an antibiotic obtained from penicillium fungi so fungi in the living way you can say it is cosmopolitan it is occurring in air water soil even it is found on the animals as well as on the plants they prefer to grow on the warm and humid atmosphere and that is one of the reason why we are keeping food in the refrigerator so that in cold condition fungi will not grow and that's why the question which is asked in the textbook can be answered that the cold temperature prevent food from the uh, going bad because of the uh, bacterial or fungal infection and cold temperature is not allowing food, uh, fungi to grow well generally fungi is having filamentous structure one of the exception is their yeast yeast are the unicellular fungi otherwise most of them are filamentous in nature their body is consist of slender thread like structure which is called as hyphae here you can see the presence of hyphae and the network of hyphae is known as mycelium this mycelium can be uh, accepted with a multinucleate multinucleated cytoplasm and when multinucleated cytoplasm is there it is called cytocytic hyphae other fungi is there where septa is there in the mycelium cross wall is there in the mycelium which is having one or more nucleus but septa is present many of them are not having septa so likewise septet as well as aseptet can be classified the fungal cell wall is made up of uh, chitin and polysaccharide so it is composed of uh, fungus cellulose that is made up from the chitin and polysaccharide 
some people are pronouncing chitin some are pronouncing chitin whatever you say is the same thing most of fungi are heterotrophic and absorb soluble matter from dead substrates and hence they are called saprophytes some of them are depend on the living plant or living organism so we can call them parasite also they can live as a symbiont also and the symbiotic relationship can be exemplified with the symbiosis of algae and fungi in the terms of lichens when it is doing symbiosis with the higher plants particularly roots of higher plants we are calling it mycorrhiza here you can see mycorrhiza where the association of roots of higher plants and fungi is there the reproduction in the fungi can take place by three different way uh, in the vegetative terms so vegetative reproduction can be by fragmentation fission and budding this uh, fungi can reproduce by asexual reproduction also and that is through the spore which is otherwise known as conidia or sporangiospore or zoospores sexual reproduction take place by oospores ascospores and basidiospores this various kind of the sexual spore is growing in particular floating body and accordingly it is classified we, we we will see that how the classification is done on the basis of the spores the reproduction is divided into three part the first one is plasmogamy second one is karyogamy and third one is meiosis the first part that is plasmogamy is fusion of protoplasm between two motile or non motile gametes we can see it here fusion is the karyogamy where two nucleus are joined and that is followed by meiosis that is the reductional division where from diploid zygote haploid spores will be produced when the fungus reproduce sexually two haploid hyphae or two compatible mating type come together and fuse and that is plasmogamy we can see it here in some fungi the fusion of haploid result immediately into diploid cell but it is not always in ascomycetes and basidiomycetes this interweaving uh, phases there that is dikaryotic stage where two nucleus is remaining together without karyogamy and that is the one where two nucleus is together and this condition is known as dikaryon because two nucleus is present in the one cell and this phase is known as dikaryotic phase in this dikaryotic phase in the later uh, time this parental nuclei will fuse and uh, karyogamy will occur ultimately result in the diploid condition that is 2n so dikaryotic phase is n plus n and diploid is 2n lastly when diploid condition is occurring it is going for the reductional division the fungi from the different uh, uh, it forms the different fruiting body and in that different fruiting body the reduction uh, reductional division will occur which is leading to the formation of haploid spores the reductional division is occurring in the fruiting body and resulting in the four haploid spores or at eight haploid spores depending on their class which can be seen here the morphology of mycelium mode of spore formation and fruiting body formation or the form of fruiting body are the basis of the classification for this kingdom in the various classes on the basis of so in detail we can say the classification of fungi kingdom is occurring through the criteria like morphology of mycelium mode of spore formation and form of fruiting body and the fungi kingdom is classified in the classes like phycomycetes ascomycetes basidiomycetes and deuteromycetes we will go through each class in detail 
let me begin with the phycomycetes the members of phycomycetes are found in aquatic habitat so they are living in the water the members of phycomycetes are found on the decaying wood in moist and damp places as an oligoparasite on on the plants the mycelium is aseptic and cynocytic in future this will be very useful for the classification purpose do remember asexual reproduction take place in phycomycetes through zoospores which is motile or aplanospore which is non motile here you can see the asexual reproduction in uh, by zoospores where the zoospores are having flagella so it is motile and another case you can see reproduction with the aplanospore which is non motile sexual reproduction is occurring by fusion of the gametes and that fusion is resulting into zygospore which can be seen here this gametes can be isogamous uh, and isogamous oogamous say for example if the gametes are similar in morphology it is called isogamous if they are not similar in morphology they can be an isogamous or they can be oogamous zygospore are formed by the fusion of two gametes that can be exemplified and can be seen here in the rhizopus as well as in the mucor some of the common example of this phycomycetes is mucor rhizopus and albugo here you can see mucor it is uh, there as a sp there with the sporangium as well as spore rhizopus that is bread mold can be seen here and albugo that is parasitic fungi on mustard and in this sectional view you can see their structural detail also next class we are moving to is ascomycetes ascomycetes is commonly known as sac fungi this is generally multicellular but one that is unicellular that is yeast saccharomyces and in multicellular you can take the example of penicillin they are coprophyllous means growing on dung or decomposer or saprophytic or can be parasitic mycelium is branched and septate just try to recall in the phycomycetes it was aseptate the asexual spores are conidia that is produced exogenously on the special mycelium which we are called conidiophore conidia on germination produce mycelium and this mycelium can be seen here sexual spores are called ascospores and that is produced endogenously in the sac like asci the single one is known as ascus and multiple it is asci and this asci are arranged in a different type of fruiting body that is called ascocarp and ascocarp is of various kind in detail ascocarp can be seen here but we will study it in detail when we study the video of neat level some example of ascomycetes can be aspergillus claviceps neurospora where neurospora is extensively used in biochemistry as well as in the study of genetics uh, ascomycetes can be exemplified uh, otherwise by aspergillus and claviceps which is of medicinally very important we are going to study about claviceps in future also many member of uh, ascomycetes like morels and buffels are edible and it is considered as delicacy it is very delicious here you can see morels and here you can see yellow colored baffles those who are knowing the value of yeast will thanks to the ascomycetes particular member the best of the best uh, fermenter and you are knowing the liquid uh, prepared with the help of fermentation by yeast so try to recall them and thanks to yeast also which is belongs to ascomycetes and do remember also basidiomycetes uh, is a commonly seen as mushroom 
or bracket fungi or puff ball here you can see basidiomycetes best exemplified by mushrooms and bracket fungi also puff ball is also well known uh, member of the basidiomycetes they are growing in soil they can be found on logs tree stumps even the, in the living plant body as a parasite and can be exemplified like rust or smuts causing fungi here you can see basidiomycetes growing on soil and here you can see they are growing on the wooden logs one can see that it is growing on the living tree stump also and they can be found inside the plant as a parasite here you can see the rust exemplified as a parasitic fungi and here you can see smuts as a parasitic basidiomycetes the mycelium is branched and septate asexual spores are generally not found but vegetative reproduction is there by fragmentation the sex organs are absent but plasmogamy is occurring in the fusion of two vegetative somatic cells that is of different strains or different genotype this result in the structure which is dikaryotic and ultimately it is giving rise to basidium here you can see the basidium inside the basidium karyogamy is occurring and meiosis is also taking place the basidiospores are exogenously producing the basidium and the basidiospores are exogenously produced on the basidium which is exactly four plural it is basidia and basidiospores as well as the whole basidium can be seen here this basidium are arranged in a fruiting body which is known as basidiocarp or basidiocarps the common example of basidiomycetes is agaricus yostilago and paxinia we have seen it earlier but still we, uh, we can repeat again agaricus is commonly known as mushroom which is edible yostilago is causing smut disease we can see here and paxinia is causing rust disease which can be seen here the last class of the fungi that is deuteromycetes deuteromycetes is commonly known as imperfect fungi because we are knowing about the asexual stage we are knowing about vegetative stage but we are not knowing or still we have not studied their sexual stage because sexual stage is not known to us we are not calling it as perfect fungi we are calling it imperfect fungi when the sexual form is identified or discovered we shall move the member of this group to the particular group like ascomycetes or basidiomycetes though it is listed we are not sending it to the phycomycetes reason you have to think it is already there when you go through the uh, characteristics of phycomycetes ascomycetes and basidiomycetes and compare with the deuteromycetes automatically you will get the answer it is also possible that the asexual stage and vegetative stage which is known here is named here and placed here in deuteromycetes but the sexual stage can be there in the other group in the other class like basidiomycetes or ascomycetes when the perfect linkage is known any of the member of this group when we are knowing the perfect linkage and the when the linkage is established we move out from the deuteromycetes and move to the ascomycetes or basidiomycetes let me say it in the form of chart a member of deuteromycetes having two possibilities one possibility is the sexual sexual stage is identified while the other possibility is still the sexual stage is not known if sexual stage is not known it is already kept in deuteromycetes the moment the sexual stage is identified there are again two possibilities either it can be put in the ascomycetes or not put in the basidiomycetes why not in the phycomycetes that one has to understand in the detail the deuteromycetes reproduce only by the sexual spore which is known as conidia here you can see the photographs of conidia the mycelium is septate and branched 
try to get the idea from this part the members of this part uh, deuteromycetes are either saprophytic or parasitic and the large number of them are decomposers helping in the decomposition of litter and help in mineral cycling which will be very 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 well studied or well discussed in the coming days and it is having a utmost importance in the terms of economy as well as in the ecology some of the examples of deuteromycetes are alternaria collectotrichum and trichoderma here you can see the conidia of uh, alternaria uh, collectotrichum can be seen here and trichoderma uh, it is there in the petri plate also and trichoderma is having lot of economic importance we are going to study very much in detail in the 12th standard in the next video we are going to study about virus viroids and lichens so till that thank you very much dhanyawad jai hind jai bharat